Here you can see the uh, touchscreen PC with software on it for playing uh, jingles and spots. Um, I'll just show you how it works straight off. First of all, it's touchscreen, so when you hit one of these buttons, it will play the jingle, so you'll hear it right now. Zenith, Zenith, classic rock, classic rock. Or another one. The best rock from the last 40 years. Okay, so on the left here, this is a player, so you could load in perhaps commercials and get it to play them one after the other. And to do that, uh, you'd press the collect button. Um, I haven't got any commercials, so we'll just load a couple of these jingles in just to show you. Uh, and when that's done, you end collect, and then you can press sequence and go. Zen is classic rock. All right, let's boot it up. Album music from the last 40 years. Oh, yeah. Only on Zenith. 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 Classic rock. Classic rock. So as you can see, that could have been a commercial break, and it pops up and tells you uh, that the, the sequence is about to end. If you have the sequence button off, it just plays the one that you hit. Um, down here at the bottom, uh, we've got these folders, and you can label those different things. I've got them labeled jingles, commercials, and his IDs, sound effects, and music. Uh, you can label them anything you like. Um, over here there's, um, the, if you like, a hotkey to the jingles section, which brings up a new wall. Obviously each one of these squares could be filled with a, a jingle or a spot or whatever. Um, up here we've got fade mix, which means when you, if you're playing one spot and then you then go to play the other one, it will fade the first one and crossfade into the second one. If you don't have that uh, uh, selected, then when you play the second spot, it will immediately cut the first. Um, if you want to um, load a new piece of audio into one of the boxes, I'm going to do it with a mouse here, just so my finger's not all in the way. Uh, obviously you don't actually have to have a mouse or keyboard attached to this PC for, uh, for, for most of the time. So I'm going to right click on an empty box. Here it asks me for the file name, so I can select uh, a jingle there or whatever. Um, I can, in here I can say what uh, I want the box to actually say. We'll leave it at that, so I'll type that in, I'll leave that for the moment. And you can select what colour the button's going to be. Um, you can select the in time and the out time. That's in case you might have uh, a bit of audio with a bit of silence on the end, so you'd say the out time is a little bit before the end. And when you're finished, you hit OK. And there's the new one, and when you hit it... The number one hit I've played on the num It will play, and there's a stop button there. Um, that's largely it. That's the PC with instant play software loaded from Total Broadcast.